Hey, what's up, guys? This is Edo Speaks back again with another video. And in this video topic, I wanted to talk about the recent uh, events that happened right now. So, as you know, the sports media in large, the liberal sports media, they like to pick and choose who they like to cover good and who they like to cover bad. And one of the people who they like to cover bad is Kevin Durant, particularly. So, I made a video a while back called LeBron J's Media Fanboys and how LeBron J's has multiple uh, media sports pundits that covers him in a favorable light, you know, talking about making him seem like he's better than what he is, try to uh, put media propaganda out there that shows he's a GOAT, and which he's not, but I digress as regards to that. But what I wanted to get into is uh, anybody what the point of that video was anybody who was a potential threat to LeBron James to potentially winning more titles they get severely tacked in the media those guys it was involves with Stephen Curry PG Kawhi Leonard Kevin Durant and etc and Kyrie Irving and etc James Harden as well so whoever was whoever was in front of LeBron James of potentially winning a title the media was gonna attack them severely. Any type of game that they have, it was gonna, it was just gonna be an onslaught of criticism. So, as of right now, Kevin Durant is out of the playoffs. He got knocked off in the first round against Sweep um, with the Brooklyn Nets against the Boston Celtics. And then, as we know later on down the forward, it was bad. He got media backlash, and I even criticized Kevin Durant, rightfully so. He deserved all the media scrutiny that he deserved because he played poorly in those playoffs and he got swept they lost all four games it wasn't a, the first maybe one or two games was a was a contest after that the series is over you could just see it in the brooklyn nets face that they didn't want to, they, they just didn't have it to beat this team and we all saw that so they ended up losing and a media firestorm of criticism came Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving's way, which again was rightfully deserved. I even criticized Kevin Durant because of his poor play in the playoffs. But now, people are saying that you know they're criticizing Kevin Durant about his championship ring, saying how they're invalid, saying how he only won that those championships because he went to Golden State. While I agree, the move to Golden State. I didn't particularly like that move. I, I just, competitive wise, I didn't like the move. I understand why people hated it, but in hindsight, looking long term at it, he made the right decision going to that team because I, I already, I could I, I could see it. If he had stayed in OKC along with Russell Westbrook, he would have never won a championship because you can never win a championship with a guy like Westbrook. And you could see that with LeBron James of what he's have to go through this particular season dealing with Russell Westbrook and um, Kevin Durant basically dealt with that for almost 10 years so that just shows you how difficult it was playing with, with Russell Westbrook now, now granted this was a um this Russell Westbrook LeBron James is playing with is older and he's more stuck in his ways but still uh, Russell Westbrook was hard, more hard-headed, lower basketball IQ, and just didn't have no foot for game. Great athlete, great athleticism, could jump out the gym, but in terms of being an actual world point guard, he's just not it. So, again, he made the right decision overall. But the point of this video I wanted to make was, earlier this week, Shaquille O'Neal made some comments about Kevin Durant saying that Ever since Kevin Durant, ever, ever since Kevin Durant left Golden State, where he hasn't won anything, and I feel like that's not fair to say because uh, you know, obviously Kevin Durant was dealing with injuries because he was trying to win a title in 2019 where he tore his Achilles in the 2019 Finals against the Toronto Raptors, and it took him a year or two to heal up. So I felt like that was not fair, and you already know Kevin Durant once he gets disrespected outside of the Boston Celtics series he's gonna uh, he's gonna uh, you know respond back and rightfully so he did respond back and um, there's a story that was out from Bleacher Report earlier where he was you know saying that you know you can't it it's hard to criticize Kevin Durant's decision 
overall because I feel like there was ho a whole bunch of BS that was going on with the Brooklyn Nets overall where they never had a 100% full team to make an actual playoff run because last year they dealt with injuries then this year the whole Kyrie Irving vax situation and then Ben Simmons and then um, James Harden requested to get traded and then Ben Simmons uh, mental health issues and back issues it was just a whole bunch of craziness going on and it was like mm, like we are we ever going to see this team become whole so I felt like that wasn't fair on Shaquille O'Neal to criticize Cameron Durant in that particular aspect of saying that he hasn't won nothing because of Cameron Durant and I've also heard this statement from Stephen A. Smith saying it was a mistake that Kevin Durant left Golden State to go play with Kyrie Irving and Brooklyn. While I do kind of agree with that, um, because if I were to pick what player I would choose to play with, I would play with Steph Curry, then Kyrie Irving. But again, what I hate is the hypocrisy in that statement because in one breath, you guys are telling uh, Kevin Durant the move he made to go to Golden State was a weak move, but then in the next breath, you guys saying that he made a mistake leaving Golden State to go make another team, to go form a team with Kyrie Irving. When he left Golden State to go form another team, I had no problem with it because it created parity and it created an opportunity for him to try to win a championship as the leader of the team. Now, he didn't do that this year or last year, and this year he showed poor leadership and poor play in terms of how he uh, performed against Boston. But still, you can't have it both ways. You can't criticize somebody for joining a super team, and then you criticize them for leaving the super team to go form his own team. Like, pick, pick one. Because it, it just don't make no sense. So, and I, don't, I didn't like that. Um, Shaq said that he didn't hasn't won anything since uh, Stephen Curry. Curry. Stephen Curry hasn't won anything since Kevin Durant left. Now, it's, it's kind of difficult for me to make that point right now because Stephen Curry is in the Western Conference Finals and Kevin Durant is at home. And he could potentially win an NBA title. If he do, obviously I'm wrong in that aspect and he has won something without Kevin Durant. But still, overall, it's not fair to gauge that uh, opinion and say, hey, you won nothing because his team is not healthy. And we've seen it with Golden State when Draymond or Clay or one of those guys are not in. The Golden State offense look totally different. So I, I want to apply that to Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nuts. I want to see how they're going to look next year. Um, see if they can resign Kyrie. See what's going on with Ben Simmons. See if he's going to be on just set healthy mentally and physically to play. Kevin Durant obviously is going to come back healthy, play, and see if they can make a run at a title. Because that's, they, have a, they have a lot of talent on that team to make a title run. And if they don't win a title, that would be really disappointing as a, a super team to have all those guys on a team and not even at least make a deep playoff run to the Eastern Conference Final minimum. But we all expect the title because of the expectations of Kevin Durant being the best player, one of the best players in the league. So if he doesn't get it done within the next couple of years, this team that he created would have been a failure and it's going to bring more uh, you know, aspect that he hasn't won anything and he couldn't win anything because of Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors, which I disagree with. I feel like those uh, titles that he won at Golden State, they're legitimate. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, it was a, it wasn't, uh, you know, a, like it wasn't the best move that he joined one of the best teams in the league and made them a juggernaut, but still, they needed Kevin Durant as much as he, they, uh, he needed them because when it came to the NBA Finals, they couldn't stop LeBron. They had no answers for him. 
And when you bring in Kevin Durant on your team, you basically, he basically nullifies LeBron James in terms of scoring. So now it, it was up to his team to defeat the Golden State Warriors, which they couldn't do, and that resulted in a victory. So obviously, it was a beneficial mutual agreement between two uh, between the team and Kevin Durant. They both benefited from it, but after that 2019 uh, championship, after he popped uh, towards Achilles. He felt like it was time for him to leave, go form his own team, and see if he can win as the leader of the team. And I have no problem with that because if he had stayed in Golden State, he, he was always going to be second fiddle to Steph Curry because that was always going to be Steph Curry's team. They, yeah, they probably would have won more titles, probably would have made more deep playoffs runs, but still, it was always going to be Steph Curry's team. Steph Curry is the Golden Boy of the Golden State Warriors and most likely going to get a statue when he retires. So, he was never going to usurp Stephen Curry, even though he was the most talented player on the team above Steph Curry, but he was never going to outshine Steph Curry in terms of allure and legacy-wise because Steph Curry has been there since he's been drafted, and you just came there right after they won 73 games, so it just kind of looks bad on that aspect. So I can see why he left. And I obviously don't see him going back to OKC to try to help win them a championship. So that's why him and Kyrie just made the decision to go to Boston. I heard that they really wanted to go to the Knicks, but James Dolan is a horrible owner. And it probably wasn't going to work out as well with uh, him, those two guys on the team. So Brooklyn Nets was the next option. And they're trying to see what they could do from there. Hopefully he go possibly win a title in the future to shut everybody up. But and how Kyrie Irving, how unpredictable Kyrie Irving is, and then Ben Simmons, he's a whole nother basket case of issues. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking too good. But that's just my opinion on the matter. I just thought it was hypocritical for people like Stephen A. Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, to talk out both sides of their mouth, saying how it was it was a weak move that he went to Golden State joined the 73 and 9 team and then right after he leaves to go make his own super team and cr somewhat create parody in the league somewhat create parody league but then they criticize us or say he leave go to say so it's like what what do you guys want like do you want do you want a mega super team that's going to dominate the league for the next five six years or do you want some competition where there's a chance where multiple teams could feel like they could win what do you want so, those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you agree with my take? Do you disagree? Or do you do you agree with Shaq or do you disagree with him? This is Elo Speaks. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the way out. I'm out. Peace.